Hey guys, <clears throat> in this video, I'm going to talk about one of the most important things that most of the IM marketer, you know, internet marketer left out is installing Pixel on your Facebook. Now, there is many different reasons why you should do that. Even you are doing email marketing or you are doing any other kind of marketing, you should always install a pixel on your funnel and you should be doing it right let me explain why the reason why you should do that is because you can really target those people anytime you have you know people coming into your funnel not everybody converts maybe like 50 30 40 is the standard 30 to 40 percent is the standard for people for any you know internet marketing funnel out there basically if it's a really good funnel it could be like 50% but you are losing other 50% people even you're doing email marketing or you are doing like you know paper other paper click like Google advertisement being whatever you are losing those people and if you do not want to even though you lose those people you want to make sure that you get back to them because first of all they show interest about your offer first thing first and then what they have done they also came to your page now if they leave your page there is no way you can track them unless you have a pixel entered what the Facebook pixel does is it place a cookie on the person's local machine when they come to your page so let's say I'm running a hundred click campaign with uh, with my funnel where I'm just capturing the free emails and when I'm capturing the free email I run hundred click for e solo ads and then everybody came in every person that will hit my page from their local machine will have a cookie placed onto their browser and then after that been placed you can retarget them via Facebook ads Facebook ads and during that time your cost for acquiring a lead becomes below 30 40 cents because they already on your pool basically so Facebook have information about them and I'll go more deeper of how can you place those ads in the future as I'll run them. I'll try to make live video to show you how I do my stuff so you can too. For this video, I'm going to show you how can you place them. Now, on the last video, the last video that I had, I actually created a funnel with you guys. I created a funnel and showed you guys how can you create an effective funnel that converts. If you have not watched this video you know you can find the video right below also in that video I have also shown you guys I, I also give you guys some information and I asked you guys to go watch the video how can you automate this um, effective headlines and get done with all of your headline copies and email copies below 30 minutes there's a tool out there that you can use to make it faster if you are not a good copywriter like me I mean I, I, I do not brag about it because I'm not really good at it so I use a tool but even though you don't use the tool you should go watch this tutorial and try to find and I have like two tutorials it's not done by me it's done some by somebody else but he describes why creating effective headlines are matter and how can you make simple tweaks that will increase your conversion by 300 percent so if you have not watched this video i highly highly recommend you guys there is a tool to buy that they're going to offer if you are if you are willing to buy it and use it for long term buy it if not just take the free information that they give you and that will change all your paradigm about you know writing these headlines and what should you do with them so i highly recommend you guys to go watch this video the link gonna be right below you know feel free to watch it yourself and get, gain some knowledge my sole uh, intention here is to provide you with the information that will help 
before I do it, I'll let you know if I find some good video that I can recommend. I'm always going to let you know as well. So let's get started. So I have logged into my business manager account. This is a fake account, business manager account, and I have two account here. So the first thing I have to do, so for this video particularly, I'm going to show you how can you add pixels on uh, on a what is it called opt-in page basically not a sales funnel one when, when I do sales funnel I will also going to show you guys how can you do that on sales on sales funnel so that you guys will be aware of that as well but for this video particularly we're gonna do it on the lead capturing page and you know after we generate the lead we can also do it on you know when it goes to the thank you page you can also track how many people went to the thank you page and in the future I'll create a video where I'll show you how can you read the steps and how can you scale up from there so first we're going to place a pixel on the landing page so to do that I'm gonna to go to the settings I'm gonna to go to the tracking code so I'm gonna get this so this is completely empty now I'm gonna go here I'm going to go to my business manager account and I'm going to click on pixels after I click on pixels the first thing I'm going to do this is a brand new pixel as you can see so you know uh, I'm doing it from the scratch so you say uh, set up pixel right it says copy and paste the pixel code you want to click on that first if so first you have to understand what this pixel is this is a pixel for page view means that anybody comes to that first page they will track it as a view so I like to go a little bit advanced I'll show you what I mean I like to do let me open a notepad where I can copy this out basically so this is the pixel that I have this is called page view means that some if anybody comes to your page they're just going to be counted as in a senior page but I want to go a little bit deeper what I want to do I actually want to do I want to click on the install event and I want to do view content view content is a little bit advanced means that if you place this cookie what you can do in the future you can actually run apps that will track your audiences that will convert means that if it's view content if facebook pixel is placing a cookie for view content on your prospect or on a person's computer what they will do they will optimize means that when you place an ad they will find that person and they will attract that person faster because you have a view content pixel so you can do a website conversion ad I'll go more details on that but for now just follow what I do so you're gonna click the uh, pixel you're gonna go here and after the non script you're gonna hit enter and you're gonna paste it here so you see here it says 3.50 since your landing page has nothing on it what I'll suggest just put 0 0 just to make sure that there is no money amount that tracking or whatever so just put zero and zero now you're gonna copy this out you know if you're confused just pause it what I did I went after the script which was there previously I hit enter and I added the new code in there basically so I'm gonna copy this out and I'm gonna go to the landing page I'm gonna paste it here I'm gonna close this out and I'm gonna click save now this is very important after you place this cookie I'm sorry place this um, pixel what you're gonna do you're gonna go back to the um, funnel that you have that you created click funnels by the way if you wanted to get click funnels for two weeks for free you can click the link below and get it once you get it you can ask me for uh, I'll try to give you a bonus I will try to show you uh, I'll try to send you a private video while where I'll show you a case study of two of my split tested highly converted funnel landing pages and you can completely model it and if you take the quick funnels with me I'll share with you both of the both of the pages they are a little bit advanced level what those pages did was you know I was uh, 
actually attracting people to get the free ebook but right after they bought the ebook what i did i referred them back to an offer excuse me which made me instant money so for doing that i had to place some sort of special code so i will show you step by step how i done that so that you can take uh, my pages make few tweaks and run them the reason why i do that because i want to make sure that i when i'm spending money for the uh traffic i want to get them back as soon as possible and the way i can do that is that if i redirect to them on affiliate offer after they opt in basically and i have a special strategy that does it it's a it it contains a little bit of coding but you don't have to worry you know if you take the click funnels with me you know drop me an email uh, i'll leave my email address below as well so i will send you the pages i'll send you all the tutorials so you can see the psychology behind it and how i have done it so you can do exactly the same by making a few tweaks and start your own campaign so by the way i'm gonna see i'm gonna test out if the facebook pixel is live onto my page so i'm gonna click here so there is a google chrome extension called you can go to the apps the web store and you can type in facebook right and this is called facebook pixel i guess not sure downloaded it a long time ago so facebook pixel helper so download this free tool what it does is is actually tracks whether you have successfully downloaded the pixel or not so if you click on that you can see it's been successfully downloaded you can see the id you can see the page view so this is the first pixel that we have uploaded that cannot track and it also tracked the view content means that anybody will come to this page will also be tracked for view content as well cool so the next page what we're gonna do we actually going to track we actually going to place three different events on this page now why this is important this is important because let's say you did not run Facebook ads until you ran you know PPE and email marketing right and then when you want to run a special ad in Facebook you want to make sure that you do not target the people who already subscribed you you want to spend your ad money to the people who did not subscribe you so if you place a pixel here right if you place a pixel that tracks who came to this page and uh, converted as a lead when you place in the Facebook ad in the future which I'll show show you how I do it so you can model that in the future they you don't have to spend the money for the people who is already on your list you're only going to advertise your new offer to the people who have not opted in already makes sense so what you're gonna do you're gonna go back to the pixel here you're gonna go to the lead pixel you're gonna click copy and you're gonna go back to the same pixel again and you see where this script ended you're gonna hit enter again and you're gonna paste it here now since we are not selling anything I'm gonna make it zero and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna copy this I'm gonna copy this out and I'm gonna go to this page I'm gonna click settings I'm gonna go tracking code and here I'm just gonna paste it out here and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna close this page and I'm gonna click save right after I click save it's been saved let's test it out now you see this three number let's click on that so we have successfully downloaded the page view view content and the lead ad so when we are doing retargeting means that people who came to our page page but did not convert it we can exclude the people who already subscribed and i'll show you exactly how you how can you do that you know facebook is really advanced and uh, you can actually do that and that way you can only spend the money by targeting people who came to your page but did not get confirmed uh, so that's all i had for this video make sure to subscribe my channel 
make sure to you know watch those videos that I suggested you guys to watch you know it's gonna be extremely helpful if you guys you know watch those videos and uh, you know implement some of those rules and regulation on uh, on the headlines and get you get to some in extra conversion for your funnels so don't forget to subscribe my channel again and I'll see you next time